Hi, I'm Phil Kaler, Professor of Entomology at the University of Florida. Pest management professionals often don't realize how useful pressurized aerosols can be as an integral part of a full service pest control operation. I believe aerosols are some of the most underappreciated tools available to the pest management industry. Proper use of pressurized aerosols can be a very effective and profitable way to control a variety of pests. Here's how they work. Pressurized aerosols dispense insecticide by the rapid evaporation of propellant, a compressed liquefied gas. The propellant is usually mixed with an insecticide solution, but in some cases the insecticide is actually dissolved in the propellant. When the nozzle is depressed, the propellant forces the insecticide solution out of the can, through the nozzle, and into the air or onto a surface. Come on inside and I will show you how these work. Modern pressurized aerosols are highly specialized for particular uses. Only a pest management professional can choose the correct ones for servicing different parts of an account. Do you know the types of products and how they should be used? They are crack and crevice treatments, space sprays, surface sprays, jet sprays, metered dispensers, and total release aerosols. Surface spray aerosols are very effective tools for fast control of crawling and even flying insects when they come into contact with treated surfaces. The products are used by pointing the nozzle and dispensing a coarse insecticide spray that wets the surface. The surface may be a cabinet under a sink or the area behind or under the refrigerator. These products are good weapons on surfaces where cockroaches, ants, and silverfish forage for food and water. Space sprays provide fast and effective knockdown of flying and crawling insects. Point the nozzle of the aerosol into the airspace to dispense very fine droplets of insecticide into the area that needs treatment. Pest management professionals often use space sprays to flush out insects such as cockroaches and bed bugs from their harborages. When using a space spray for flushing pests, direct the spray towards the harborage sites. Crack and crevice treatments release the insecticide spray through a tube. The tube is usually inserted into a crack, wall void, or crevice to deliver the liquid directly into harborages where insects live. A crack and crevice treatment is usually made with a residual insecticide that will kill for several days or weeks, ultimately removing the harborage site. Many food handling establishments and restaurants must be treated with crack and crevice applications. This type of aerosol treatment is the best method for placing insecticides in areas where they will only contact the insect pests. Food, children, and pets will not be exposed. Jet sprays are powerful weapons for control of bees, hornets, yellow jackets, and wasps. Nobody wants to get close to nests of stinging insects. Jet sprays deliver a stream of insecticide out to a distance of 20 feet, allowing treatment of nests under the eaves of buildings. They also allow you to stand at a safe distance from a ground or aerial nest to do the treatment. Jet sprays are really impressive in controlling bees and wasps. Insecticide streams from jet sprays hit the insects directly. As soon as the treatment hits the pest, the insect drops to the ground and dies. Meter dispensers work very well to provide ongoing control of flying insect problems. These dispensers deliver a space spray automatically at program times, so the applicator is not necessarily present when the spray is dispensed. 
Meter dispensers are an excellent way to kill flies and mosquitoes in commercial establishments. Meter dispensers work extremely well in non-food areas where flying insects accumulate. They work even when the applicator is servicing another account. Total release aerosols are great weapons for controlling exposed flying and crawling insects. They are excellent tools for treating rooms up to 5,000 square feet. After ensuring that all possible ignition sources, such as pilot lights, are turned off, activate the total release aerosol. To do this, depress the nozzle on the top of the can, set the can in the middle of the room, and then leave the room. Keep the room closed for two hours to allow the product to work, and then ventilate for 30 minutes before re-entering. I hope you enjoyed my explanation of aerosols as part of a pest management program. The real interesting part of pest management is putting together a system of treatment techniques to solve problems. Pressurized aerosols should be a part of almost every program, and different types of sprayers should be carefully selected for each task. The total program is too complex for homeowners. They need you and your knowledge and your tools, and your tools include pressurized aerosols to assist in the delivery of your pest management program.